guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to set and achieve your fitness goals. Yes. I know that for a new year, new you, new me, thank goodness because 2015 sucked, ready for a fresh start, that um, a lot of people really set new year resolutions to get healthy, get in shape, get fit, and I am here to give you a little pointers on how to do so. Hmm. My first tip is to remember to start small. If you're 21 or you're 35 or you're 28, whatever age you are, remember that any bad habit that you have that you're trying to get rid of fitness wise, you've been doing that bad habit for your entire life. So to move forward, you need to start small. For me, when I started, I made sure to just, I, I wanna just cut one thing. I know eventually I need to start eating healthy and healthy and healthier, but to begin with, I just wanted to cut out soda. It takes 21 days to break a bad habit. So I did it, 21 days, now I'm going on two and a half years without soda, and trust me when I say, Homegirl over here was a soda addict, okay? A large Coke and a styrofoam cup from McDonald's every day, maybe even sometimes twice a day, okay? Like, I wasn't even drinking diet, all right? I was just regular Coca-Cola, okay? So, pick one thing that you want to cut out, stick to it for 21 days, break a bad habit, find other things to substitute for when your mind and your body goes crazy, because it will happen. And that's why starting small is important because if you break every single bad habit that you have, like eating candy or drinking soda, drinking alcohol, like whatever you are doing, if you cut all of that out, you will not achieve your goals because your body and your mind, you will go crazy. Moving on to number two, my next piece of advice is your workout schedule. So a lot of people think that you need to work out seven times a day, you need to be in the gym for hours and hours on end, and that's the only way that you're gonna get in shape. And that is so false, okay? Now, going back to this like time scale of your life, remember that if you haven't been working out your whole life, you can't just go into the gym seven days a week. You will be exhausted, mentally and physically exhausted. So, what I'm saying is pick one two or three days that you're gonna dedicate to go to the gym. And you're not gonna be in the gym for two to three hours, you're gonna be in the gym for one hour to an hour and a half tops. My third piece of advice is as follows. Be patient. Trust me, this is coming from my heart. Getting in shape and getting fit and eat, living this healthy lifestyle, it takes patience because you're not gonna to go to the gym for one week and then see results. You know, it's, it's little changes in your life that are going to make those little changes in your body. And that is where the patience comes in. Do not get discouraged. You will see progress. Your abs will start showing. You'll see, like, your arms get less jiggly. Look, muscle still jiggles, okay? Your legs will get less jiggly. You'll feel better in your clothes. Those are the things that you have to look at. Be patient. Progress will happen, but it does take time. My fourth piece of advice is to only compete against yourself. This is not a competition between a million and ten different people. Every single person has a different fitness journey. Every single person has a different story of how they got fit or they're getting fit or their goals. Never compete against anybody else other than yourself. Be better than the person that you were yesterday. Definitely use people as inspiration. I have a lot of fitness people and gurus that I look up to, but I don't compare myself to them because A, our bodies are extremely different. We have different goals. We have different aspirations. Use them as motivation. You see them posting like that cute booty pic. Okay, like I'm going to go work on my glutes because that just inspired me to get a better booty. Does that make sense? Only compete against yourself. Be better than you were yesterday. This is not a competition. And also, that can get really discouraging. My fifth and final piece of advice is this. Remember that this is a healthy lifestyle and not a diet. If you are trying to get in shape and stay in shape, you cannot call this a diet because this is not a diet. This is you changing your lifestyle to make yourself better inside and out. 
Alright guys, best of luck in these 2016 fitness resolutions. Leave any comments or questions below, I will be more than happy to answer them. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you're looking for any workouts or recipes or inspiration, remember to check out my blog. I will link that down below as well. And get ready because this is exciting. Getting fit is so fun. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.